Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome to this home decor DIY. So I have some of my kitchen utensils, the ones that we use most often on display on my kitchen. They are just easier to grab, but I have them stored in a mason jar and that looks really ugly and sad and I wanted to do something with it. And so I thought of decorating this and for that I'm going to be using this white acrylic paint and a brush. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing to make the colors that I'm going to be using on top pop a lot more because I'm going to be painting this as a watermelon, giving this two coats. And once I have this covered, but not like opaque, but just covered in white, I'm just going to be taking this green and red acrylic paint and I'm just going to be covering with my green acrylic paint the bottom part. If you notice, I didn't cover the bottom part because I want to be able to see my like utensils from like the bottom. It's really weird. Just to make sure it's clean from the inside. I'm just going to be giving this one coat and I'm not going for this uh, perfectly covered. I'm just going for this rustic watermelon design. So one coat will do. The least even painted it looks the better. For the vibe, I'm going for this. And then I'm going to be painting the top part with the red, covering almost all like the mason jar because I Obviously the red part is the part that takes the most out of a watermelon covering with just one coat and I just let it dry but not completely. I'm just going to be taking my white acrylic paint and I'm just going to be starting with the sign itself, just dragging the paint, making this kind of like a gradient effect and I went here back and forth first with the white, then with the red, and then with the green. And just as I mentioned before, going back and forth, just like what I'm doing here, it's real hard to explain. And hopefully it's going to be making a lot more sense by watching. So once I have done that and everything is just like this and dry, I'm going to be taking some black acrylic paint, a brush and this dotting tool that I made a DIY on is on my channel but I'm going to be painting the seats for that I'm going to be taking just the back of my brush this is a makeup brush I never use it for makeup I just use it for a, like a huge dotting tool for when I paint I'm just going to be applying the huge dots and with my smaller dotting tool you know with the same paint that I added on the huge dot I'm going to be using that paint putting a dot on top of that and then just dragging the paint towards that so this is pretty much like the shape of seats and yeah I'm just going to be covering uh, this with seats all the way around and I decided to make a second row on the top of it. Once that's done and dry I'm going to be taking this gloss that I got from Sculpey and I'm just going to be using a brush for this. Covering the whole thing, giving these two coats and I do this because I want this design to be shinier and my paint to last longer. You know I'm going to be putting this on display in my kitchen and I want this to be like a rustic look and just like anthropology kind of like vibe to it but shiny. And yet this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share with you. I think it looks super cute. It's way better to have like my kitchen utensils in here rather than just the plain and simple mason jar. I really like watermelons. So yeah hopefully you like it too. If you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I upload weekly and share this. So yeah thank you so much for watching. I'll take you later and take care. Bye guys!